As for me, it looks like Casemiro has been here for years at Manchester United, though he has been here for like six, five months because he arrived in September. And when you count September, October, November, December, January, five months at the club, but looks like he is so much in the know of this club and he has gone ahead to explain to the media the way to triumphing at Old Trafford. He expects titles this year. He expects lots of things to do, talking about the goals he scored yesterday and very many more in this episode. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you will upload in one day. After subscribing, hit the notification bell that will keep you notified every time we put up something here onto this channel. Now, we are talking Casemiro. Rock and David is my name. Now, yesterday, Casemiro, was it yesterday? On Saturday, yesterday but one or on Saturday, he scored a brace. He broke the dreadlock and then scored the second one. A brace in a space of like three, four, five minutes. That's, that's what Casemiro gifted us with. You know, when he was playing at Real Madrid, he was so much tasked to protect the back four and break up play of the opponent. That's it. And to combat the attacks of the opponents. But this time around, Ten Hag has given him an allowance to go ahead and really explore more in the final third of the opponent. That's why you see to it that this season alone at Manchester United, he has nine goal involvements. You get a couple of assists, close to four goals, scored a brace yesterday, scored one against Chelsea, scored against Charlton, and um, there's a team he scored against. I think he has like five goals and four assists. That is Casemiro for you. So he's really a player playing CDM, but obviously taking some time and getting goals for Manchester United. That is really a positive for the club of Manchester United because you'd love to be having goals coming in from different corners or different players. Now, Lisandro Martin scored against Arsenal. Casemiro scored. Bruno is scoring. Vegojo scored. Anton is scoring. Mm, Fred is scoring goals. Rashford is on fire. Mm, Ericsson has fired in some one or two. So, when you look at the squad of Manchester United, we are having goal scorers in every department, meaning that it's very hard for our, go for our game to end in a stalemate because we are having people who have gone ahead to improve in scoring goals, meaning that our attacking prowess is really having a lot of force onto it from the back line and the defensive midfield. So, Casemiro has gone ahead and really hinted on United and what has brought the success at Old Trafford. Now, he first said that in our lives, we have to have goals and challenges. It was a challenge for me to keep growing and developing in my career. The job is on with. The job is on with a lot of humility by knowing there is a lot to improve. But all players need to be congratulated now. Now, he's talking about congratulating the players of Manchester United because of what they are going, they've gone out to achieve. We have to congratulate them because if you look back at how our season started, it was really, really really very bad we didn't have a season start that ten hag all we fans were even hoping to start with because we thought that you are having brighton brentford those are teams to beat and we expected a hard game against liverpool but it was vice versa the two games we thought that are going to be hard for us sorry the two games we thought are going to be easy for us we lost both of them the game that we thought was going to be hard for us it was easy for us because in the first half we led, even the second half, Martial came on through, released Rashford, and Rashford banged that ball into the back of the net. 2-0, then Salah came up around the 85th minute and pulled one back for Liverpool, but we went ahead to win that game of football. So, many games that we thought were going to be hard for us, we won them. So, these players need to be congratulated because they've gone ahead to overturn a season that, is really, that really looked a failure already. But obviously, we went ahead to really win that season because I think where Ten Hag is, it's a win for him because no one thought that would be at this juncture. We are the only European, we are the only English team left in all four competitions. That's it. And I believe by the time we play Barcelona 
we would have gone ahead to really find ourselves in the better mode of really being where we are but the problem is players are getting injured and the manager is not being backed up so that's it that is the only thing that's going to rule us from really being in top of every competition we are in Hasmiro said but of course i was aware of needing some time to adapt and of the rivals having long-term plan before ours like arsenal Manchester city and liverpool they all have managers that have been there for a while and therefore they have an advantage so he's hitting about the advantage that the other teams have over eric ten Hag and Manchester united that ten Hag has been here for just five six months into his debut season and he's doing better yet the other managers have been here and they've had they've spent lots of time with their squads meaning that they have an advantage over us but it shows you how good we've gone ahead to make a very huge overhaul at Manchester united that we were at a point x into a title discussion if at all we won against crystal palace and maybe drew against arsenal we would have been into that bracket again because arsenal would have been like three points behind us all five if at all we drew or they beat us would have been six but the two points we broke we dropped against crystal palace put us into a situation of really being hit out of the title race but i believe Ten Hag is also one of those that is responsible for what we are really going in through right now at Manchester United as Casemiro is really hinting on it. Then Casemiro said, When you arrive at a new club, you always dream of making history, especially if we see the greatness of this club. We know the history. That's what he's talking about, that we know the history. When he arrived at Manchester United, he dreamt of making history with the club. Now, winning with Manchester United is different when you talk about it. And winning with Manchester United on the pitch also differs from the space message these players are making. Casemiro comes in with a winning mentality. Rafael Veran has a winning mentality. I think Bruno has not yet won all that much. But De Gea has it, although it might have really flown out after having spent long without winning but i believe we're having some good players are really experienced as far as winning is concerned Anthony won with ajax um and some good players so i believe we can really see ourselves into a competition of really winning and with people like casimiro telling us that he wants to make history with the club of Manchester united not by talking words but on the field of play and he has gone ahead to orchestrate it in the number of games that's played for Manchester United because even on Saturday he scored a brace for Manchester United. So that is Casemiro for you. And he went ahead to throw in to throw in that in his opinion he thinks United is the greatest club. And obviously it is. Who doubts? So he said he told this to Chris Wilder, United is a big club in my opinion. If you look at the titles, it's the biggest in England. We're on a good path. This is the way to win titles, but we need to keep growing. So, <clears throat> you know, history has been backing us for so long, and our actions had really deteriorated. They had really dropped off. But this time around, looks like the Ten Hag army is really ready to get us back to winning ways. And he's talking about us being the biggest club in England, no team has won more trophies than Manchester United in the history of English football. That's it. Clip it. That is it. Hate it or love it. Hate United or love it. We are the leading title holders in the English Premier League. Then, we're on the good path. He's right. We're on the good path. But the only obstacle we are having in our good path is simple. It's the it's the board and the the owners because if we had a competent owner, he would have gone ahead to really put us in the market and got ten hug the players wanted, Cody Gapko, Yao Felix, and very many others. The general transfer, you know, because Chelsea has spent two hundred million pounds in the January transfer window. Arsenal has a first point close to 50 million pounds. They have made a bid of Quesido. It has been rejected, meaning that they are really willing to go ahead and really make another one. So it shows you how the raid we are by the board. And if at all it wasn't that board, we would have been a different team altogether. 
as Manchester United. But he's talking about us growing. The good thing is that new owners are coming in through. And with new owners coming in through, that means the manager is going to be backed. Ten have confirmed to us about the selling of Manchester United. The CEO told him, that is Richard Anuri, that the coming in of new owners means the coming in of new owners means the coming in of new owners means means more backup, especially as far as scoring goals and really bringing in players is concerned. So he really believes that will help us. And I think even Casemiro got about it, got it right on us growing. But you can't grow without players that the manager wants, meaning that those players need to be needs to be given to the manager. Then he really gets us to the levels you want to be. Casemiro on my first goal, Anthony's pass was incredible. I know that people focus on who scored, but I wanted to give him a bit of love as the pass was magic. He was an important player for us. Obviously, Anthony's pass to Casemiro was magic and Casemiro really dinked that ball over the goalkeeper in a very sublime way. The dispatch was really beautiful and outstandingly perfect. So, he went ahead to pass the love over to Anthony because the assist goes for Anthony and the goal went to Casemiro. So I believe that everything that is happening at Manchester United and everything that Eric Ten Hag is touching is really turning into gold. Casemiro is really one that that one player that has really gone ahead to really improve our midfield to the next level. Then every goal that we score is a result is is a result of a collective effort. Every goal we concede is a collective consequence there is no individual error in this squad we are together so if there is anything Ten Hag has gonna hate to achieve at Manchester United is really getting his dressing room intact when you hear those words coming in from Casemiro it confirms to you that this guy is really portraying exactly what is in the dressing room every goal they score it's a result of a collective effort all team effort every goal they concede it's a team blame. It's a collective consequence. So no single player should be come out to be blamed by them, not us. For us, we'll come out and really iron out, all point out which player is going to have to be a, a result of us conceding. Like in the game of Man City, Rashford fails to track the run of Kevin De Bruyne because of Freddie had to mark Mahrez, and then we concede. Then Alun Bissaka also never really marked his man. He never marked the far post. So, second, the game of Arsenal, the first goal, Aaron Bissaka. Second goal, Ericsson, not closing down very well. Third goal, Scott McTominay going in for sliding tackle to surrender himself on to stopping it. And obviously, the block was not made. Then, Aaron Bissaka was exposed to a one, to a one, to a two v one situation. And obviously, they beat him, and that cross was really cut inside by Zinchenko to find Odegaard and Odegaard hit it to find to find Nketiah obviously into the back of the net so I think there is no individual error in the squad I think they believe that we win as a team and we lose as a team not a bad spirit for them but we as the fans will always come in here and really put them to the levels that we really want them to be and then Casemiro again had the following to say about United's progress. We know we are progressing within within a plan. Step by step, we are building a well-structured team, and this is important to win titles in the future. You have to build a solid foundation. So he's hitting about what we have to do to build a solid foundation. Obviously, a solid foundation scores in for money, and these Glazers are not willing to fund us. The good thing is that they've put their team on market and on sale. They really want us sold. So, when the new owners come in through, we expect them to come in with lots of monies to help the team really do the job. Then he has explained to us his kind of job he's doing for Manchester United that he was really brought. Remember, when he was watching the game of United being beaten by Brentford, he SMSed or he really sent a WhatsApp message to his agent Tell them I'll fix it. <laughs> That's it. That's why United went in and paid 70 million pounds for the player known as Casemiro. And no one is talking about the 70 million pounds we coughed to Casemiro because he hit the ground running and is a perfect fit 
in every game that we are playing. Now, he has said, my main job is to give more balance to the defense, help my teammates, give more quality to the build up, but to score is also important and satisfying because in the Premier League history, I believe if at all he goes on his run, like he is having right now, he is going to be the best ever CDM to score those number of goals because nine goal involvements a season is something hard. You know that even some, you know that even some forwards cannot even reach it in a season. They can't. So it shows you how good Casemiro is and how much we need a player like him in our team. And what worries you a lot is that when you're not having him, who can get that job done and dusted? The answer is no one. So we need to find a big solution for the Casemiro problem because if at all he's out, we really look short and lame. That's it. Now, even Harry Maguire even Harry Maguire has gone ahead and really hinted about Casemiro and he has gone ahead to throw lots of praises to the player known as Casemiro. He has said he's done what he was brought in to do. He's a phenomenal player. You don't win what he's won without being a top player. Casemiro improved the team the morale and performances. That's what he said. But can Harry Maguire tell this to himself that has he done what he was brought to do? Big question onto him because he's attributing it to Casemiro, but can we attribute it to him also? I believe not because he has been a savage ever, th ever since he came in at Manchester United. And I think he owes us a lot. <laughs> That's it. That's it, because he needs to really not do what he's supposed to do for the club because we are really look, looking bad every time he's playing, every time Ten Hag really plays him. So thank you very much for watching through. What are your thoughts of Casemiro explaining that it is way to triumphing? In the comment section below, Rock and David is my name. Last video of the day. Good night. May the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly. Good night, my mates. See you tomorrow. Three videos done. I'm out.